This is an example of one of the projects we're developing right now at 14th and Vine, called 14th and Vine, at Trinity Flats and Trinity Flats. We're at two corners, we bought the building, tore it down, and are building something much more architecturally appropriate. Thank you, Glazer Works. Um, but more importantly, this will be done in a couple weeks. I want to call attention to the street. We're opening it back up, so this fits in with the neighborhood architecturally. But these are glass garage doors that open up and literally will allow folks, the street and the store owners, to bleed together. On the opposite side of the street, more of the same. Pretty good building structures, but boarded up storefronts, many times bricked up storefronts. That's how, <laughs> that's how uh, bad things work. And on the corner, we've got a surface lot. The corners are absolutely critical to have buildings, and this is what we're building today. Again, how does the, the building communicate when it hits the road? <coughs> the only other thing I'll point out on this one as a developer's perspective is the importance of the materials that you build your buildings with. It speaks to the quality of your street. These are all brick, metal, stone, and glass, high quality materials. That leads us to the third piece. So we've got the idea, we've got the focus, our brand, and we can talk about our built environment, but how do you go from one building, one block, to a neighborhood that feels walkable? When I hear walkability, actually, uh, I think of that Bud Light commercial, drinkability, from the, from the Super Bowl. Um, they're both made up words, um, but they mean things, and, and walkability, I think drinkability probably matters to, but, to beer drinkers, but walkability matters to people. And one of the things that we're working on now, this is the same map of that gateway quarter area where we focus, and the blue is our first two phases, where we have two blocks of success. The yellow is another development going on where we have another couple blocks with the parks being redone. Our third phase, we said, we need, to, we need that magical number of three walkable blocks. Three walkable blocks. I don't know what's magical about it, but if you can connect three blocks and people feel safe from walking <coughs> from here all the way up the street to there without feeling like they're in no man's land, you're creating a walkable neighborhood. So I just want to conclude with this map again. I'm talking about a walkable neighborhood. The next things that we're talking about to move this neighborhood even further forward is we've had success here. We're now demonstrating success here and here. So we're getting those three walkable blocks this way. We're now talking about improving, the, we're doing streetscape improvements. We're improving signage so that no matter where you are, you know that you're in the gateway quarter. And we're also, to take it up one notch even further, starting to talk about, we got our three walkable blocks, how can we start connecting these horizontal corridors to a main street area that's really not too far away from being as, I'm gonna say this, as good off as Vine is, 12th and 13th and Vine is. Um, so as, again, the focus, the brand, creating that place, literally drawing the boundaries on a map Number two, your built environment. And number three, can you connect them in three blocks?